Hey, so this is Scott. Uh, hey, this is Jay. And this is the Scott and Jay Show. And it's Saturday. We won't tell you what day it is. Or what the date it is. What date? It is, de- it is Saturday, it so is you, Saturday. Already, you already let that cat out of the bag. All right. So what's been going on, Jay? Basketball. Basketball is in session, and I've uh, been hanging out at the uh, Bruin Fieldhouse. Um, Colin, basketball game. Watch, watching football game, or Watch basketball games. Basketball games. Oh, yeah. you'll be calling it today. I am doing the PA announcing. Today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you're not going to call the game. You'll just be a PA announcer. Yeah. Yeah. Who's calling the game? Uh, you for for Bartlesville, it's been um, Jonathan Eastman. And I forget the other guy's name that does the television. But he's pretty good. David Crawford usually does it. Is is uh, covering I think the girls tournament down in uh, Putnam City, and the girls won last night, uh, pretty big. So oh, yeah. I think they advanced on to the championship game. But this this tournament that's going on in Bartlesville is the uh, Conica Phillips Arvest Invitational, and uh, man, it's pit yeah, it's pitted some pretty good teams against each other. Um, Probably the favorite is uh, Broken Arrow. Um, uh, Broken Arrow and Bixby play in the championship game today. And uh, Bixby has a 6'9 kid that's already committed to OSU. Um, the guy's a beast. Um, he's a little slow, and if you go into a running game, it wears him out, but all he has to do is get down in the middle and just put his hands up, and he blocks everything that comes his way. Right. So he's, he's pretty good. So OSU got a pretty good pickup. August in Osage County is out. And I guess it's not in Bartlesville. So. Yeah, we got dissed. I mean, I guess we're not Osage County, so we shouldn't be too upset. But and hopefully, did uh, Osage County get it? Uh, or Pahuska. Hopefully, Pahuska got it because it's about them. So. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Uh, have you read the book or seen yeah. the play? <laughs> no, I might. Wait till it comes out on Netflix or something. We'll watch it on Netflix. Did you hear what the uh, Meryl Streep was saying about Walt Disney the other day? Some disparaging remarks about him being an anti Semitic individual who didn't like women and blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that where, you know, it's kind of, I mean, guy can't defend himself, so who knows? Yeah, it's easy to take pot shots when you can't defend yourself. But anyway, that was a little disappointing. Yeah. So, day in oh man, it's going to be a great weekend. So, you know, I was thinking about this. It was uh, minus 14 on Monday. Tomorrow it's going to be in the mid-60s. By next Sunday, if this trend continues, it could be in the mid 100s, like 150. So global warming, huh? Global warming, yeah, it's tough. Ooh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hot <laughs> in February. Yeah. Or January. No, so January, so February. so uh, the whole global warming thing. You know, the last 15 years, you know how much the war, the uh, Earth has warmed. How much? How much do you think? Take a guess. One global warming thing. Uh, it's an average number, I guess. Yeah. Overall, it's uh, uh, climbed up maybe five degrees. Five degrees. Okay. So over the last uh, 100 years, how much do you think it's grown? What was the last question? How much oh. the last 15 years? Okay. Oh. Uh, over the last 100, probably seven degrees. Seven degrees. So. The actual facts are that in the last 15 years, zero. It has not grown at all. In fact, these have been the coolest years in the last several years. We've had a few warm years, but on average, it's been zero degrees warm. In the last 100 years, the amount that it was warm is 0.7 degrees. So you're close. <laughs> Seven degrees. Seven degrees. Yeah, so, so we've got a lot to be worried about. Yeah. It may, mainly what makes the Earth hot is this big ball of light that's in the sky. 
No, yeah. That's pretty much it, yeah. That has mostly to do with kind of philosophy with it, yeah. And clouds. And, yeah. Clouds. Yeah. 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 Vortexes from the Arctic. We're just killing ourselves. So, uh, weight loss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Scott's been uh, so, trying to yeah, take we'll a page out of Jay's book. Have juiced all week and vegetables and, you know, bananas and, you know, chicken breast at night and nuts and fruits. And so it's been real exciting. Good. Not really, but it, I do feel better. I, I can see more energy. I yeah. feel more energy. I feel better in the clothes. And so, yeah, if I can do a pound a week for 52 weeks, you know, by the same time next year, I should be uh, I should be one lean, mean fighting machine. So here's what I've I've uh, I've kind of ran into a wall. I keep, I keep going like this. I don't, I don't gain much. I don't lose much. Um, I've been in about a five pound range between two eighteen to twenty three. So I go up, I go down. I go up and I go down. And uh, I've gone all the way down to two, 217 and a half is my lowest I've been. Um, and so I've, I've kind of been a little bit frustrated with that. Uh, so here's what I've decided to do. I'm going to go one week at a time. I've got a pound and a half goal every week. And so I wrote down what I need to weigh at the end of each week. And uh, by the 1st of April, I should be down under 200 pounds. And so to get there, you know, I, I know I've got a short, hey. I've got a, I've got my blinders on now, so I don't I don't set and worry about things. Um, in fact, it's it's worked out so far. Um, on Wednesday I was at 223. Today I was at 218. So um, you know, it's it's refocusing and trying to. Um, focus in on a smaller target and not just say, you know, here's here's that long range goal that I want to get to. Right. And I don't ever see any traction there. But when I set set a, a smaller goal like you're doing on a weekly basis, losing a pound a week. Just a pound, baby, just a pound. That's that's why you really want to focus on yeah. just focus on that one pound. Don't focus on the whole you know, I gotta lose. You know, everybody wants to get to lose twenty pounds in three weeks or four weeks, whatever, but uh, you know, for most intents and purposes, you're going to be alive this same time next year, so you might as well cut yourself a break and just ease into it. And and here's here's the good news to all that. So your body is kind of a funny little mechanism. When when you start first start dieting, you've got your normal diet. That's what I tell my wife, it's a funny little mechanism. Yeah, it's, it's funny. You've got this. You've got your normal diet that you work on. That. Um, you're normally eating so many calories a day and you're processing so much food and your body is just functioning just fine without it. Now, when you throw into a new Hey, can y'all routine, keep it down over there? We're trying to record, trying to record. the Scott and Jay show. And so, so when you uh, get going, um, when you first initially start going, your body starts saying, okay, something's going on. I've got to start burning some reserves. So it starts burning the reserves really quick because it doesn't get as much calories. But then as you go on, like I have, I've been a year into it, it starts to feel this routine like, okay, I know I'm not starving, so I know I'm not going to have to burn everything, I know I'm going to get calories back in, and so it, it starts burning more efficiently, um, and so it, it, it settles back in, and so I have to, to readjust it. Right. So when you, now when you start working, I would imagine if you haven't weighed in yet. I imagine you probably lost about five pounds. Yeah. Yeah. So there's your quick quick hits. When you first start, you're going to hit those quick hits, and you're going to continue to hit those quick hits until your body starts getting used to your new normal. All right. So there's your dietary info for the day. Yes. And now, so our app of the day. Well, the app of the day. I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, hang on. I'm looking at uh, Instagram because Instagram today, this weekend, every year they have an Insta Meetup. Insta Meetup. Mm-hmm. 
and you're supposed to hashtag your photo Insta Meetup. So what they ask everybody around the world to do is to get a group of folks, take a picture in their city, town, whatever, mm-hmm. and hashtag it Insta Meetup. Okay. It's a, like an Instagram meetup. So uh, you post your photo on Instagram, and then people from around the world, you know. So what I was thinking is, is here, so we'll put the word out now. Everybody in Bartlesville, where should we meet tomorrow? We could meet at... Um, How about church? Meet at church? Which church? It was like, my hundred churches in there. My church. How about uh, somewhere outside in the park? Like, uh, should we do it like in front of the Price Tower? Or should we do it... Where, where would be a good place for everybody to meet? Sure, Price Tower is good. Price Tower is good? Yeah. What about... Yeah, but it always gets so much attention. Is there another place that needs attention? Well, it's the one. It's the one recognizable. Everybody knows what's what's the Price Tower, and, and uh, people even come to town just to see it because it's Frank Lloyd Wright's only skyscraper. So that's well, one of those. Okay. So you want to do Price Tower? Yeah. Okay. So everybody out there in uh, in TV land, video land, YouTube land, in Bartlesville, what time tomorrow? Three? Because Three. I've got Three. I've got church till about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. We've got to get lunch. So, 2 o'clock, maybe. Three should work. Okay. Three? Okay, we'll say three. All so, right. everybody out there, uh, tomorrow, 3 o'clock, in front of the Price Tower. Because we're not saying what day it is, so... Uh, tomorrow is... So we'll go ahead and say it. So tomorrow is the... What is it? It's the... Uh, what is today? It's the 12th. Tomorrow's the 12th. January the 12th. It's the 11th. So... Get uh, me in front of Price Tower. So if it's just Jay and I, then it'll just be Jay and I. Or, or maybe our two viewers, our, our moms. Our yeah, show. our moms. <laughs> But uh, it'll be good publicity for Bartlesville. Uh, maybe, if, yep. you know, they uh, everybody get together and have a big group photo for, you know, to share on their Instagram accounts. Be a part of Instagram's Insta Meetup this year. They do it once a year, and so maybe next year we'll plan ahead a little more and maybe do a party around it. Yeah, so yeah, that'd be good to do a big party around and have a big downtown gathering and gathering downtown and take the huge photo of Bartlesville. So on Instagram, do we have a hashtag Scott and Jay show? No, we could do one. Alright. Is it and percent or A and D? Oh, uh, A and D. Scott and Jay. A and D. Scott and Jay. Pound Scott and Jay. Alright. So tomorrow, 3 o'clock, thinking about I'll show up beside you and I? Could be us. <laughs> All right, so I'll put the uh, announcement on Facebook. Jay, will you share it on Facebook? Yes. Okay. And uh, if you hear this, and uh, if you will get on Facebook and help share it, we'll meet at Price Tower next tomorrow, January the 12th at 3 o'clock. And I'll take a picture. Cool. We'll see how many shows up. I'll bet. How many people do you think will show up? Four, five? Two. <laughs> Maybe ten. I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be optimistic and say ten. Ten. Okay. All right then. All right then. Um, you know, uh, last year when we did something like this, remember what happened when you had that? What was that? The, that was uh, incredible. So the, uh, last year we all showed something up. Something with laxatives and. Yeah, we all showed up. We're getting ready to take a picture. Then all of a sudden.